What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny. Welcome back, and I see this all the time on the internet. The secret to making six figures in two days. The secret to success. The secret to this. The secret to that. It's all BS. There ain't no secrets out there for pretty much most things. Because nowadays, we have this beautiful thing called the internet, where all of human knowledge is accessible online. And just putting the word secret gets you more clicks and that's what I'm doing. Anyways, there are a few reasons that a lot of guys don't really have a grasp of on when you look at someone and you're just like, damn, this guy has great style. And I'm gonna talk about that in this video. So welcome to the secret of having great style. So the first secret to having great style is of course, taking care of yourself. You guys already know this by now, but there are just a lot of guys who still aren't doing that. So by taking care of yourself, what I really mean is getting your grooming on point, getting a haircut when you need to, getting rid of the hair on the back of your neck, or properly maintain that hair if you're growing it out. And don't be rocking, linty, wrinkly, stained clothes. Also, side note, am I the only one that like doesn't wash their jeans like ever? Like what's the point if it's not even stained and you got a perfectly good freezer to get rid of that stench? I see no reason. Anyways, that's your grooming, but also just hitting the gym. There is without question that if you work out, your personal fashion spectrum has expanded. When you build a great physique, and it doesn't have to be no Christian Guzman type of physique, it just expands your options of things that you can wear. Fitted tees obviously look amazing on you, oversized tees still work, boxy tees still look great, plus you get the benefits of the confidence that you build, which really helps with rocking an outfit. Now, I know this happens to a lot of you guys when you start packing on some size because I went through it, and that is when you disregard every clothing item except for fitted clothes. Don't be that guy who just only wants to show off their physique because at that point, you're only doing it for validation and you're basically dressing for others and not yourself. And that's not really great style. So there's no secret here. The second way to have great style is of course, picking up some accessories. So when guys think of accessories, we all know what that entails, a nice watch and maybe a gold or silver chain and even less likely rings. I know some guys that may shy away from that style because they might think it's a little bit too feminine, but whatever, I say try it. Who knows if you actually like it because accessories are like icing and sprinkles on top of your cake decorations in your room, toppings on pizza, and not pineapple, sorry, and the smashing of the like button on this video. That is an absolute great place to start, but one accessory I feel like a lot of guys look over is a nice pair of shades. So that is why this video is sponsored by Jade Black. So we can all agree that it's pretty hard to find a nice, high quality pair of shades, you know, with a lot of features to it at an affordable price. And you know, by high quality, what I really mean is like polarized, you know, UV protection, because you can't find that unless you spend more than a Benji, because most major brands are owned by one company. And that company is Luxottica and they own the entire market. So Jade Black shades are made of the same materials as these high-end brands like YSL, Ray-Ban, and Gucci, which is an Italian cellulose acetate, stainless steel screws with UVA and UVB protection, and they come polarized. And polarized lenses actually serve a purpose. Like with polarized filters on camera lenses, they really help to reduce harsh glares and also comes with this anti-reflective blue coating on the back of the lenses that gives it a pretty dope look. And here's the thing, all of these come at $49. And if you guys use my discount code Johnny-10, it's only gonna be $44. You're welcome, fellas. So go ahead and click the link in the description. It's going to take you to their site. They have a ton of unique and honestly beautiful designs. And if you are struggling to decide which kind of frames to pick up, they have a quiz to help you decide which one best suits your face shape. I wouldn't want to skip out on this launch, especially because it's the holidays. It's going to make a great gift. Click the link in the description and let's go and talk about more accessories. I'm not only talking about shades and jewelry, you can't ignore the accessories that most guys aren't really trying out. Beaded bracelets are up there as my top accessory. Sling bags, I still see a lot of guys not really trying this out because they really are super functional and serve a purpose. They help with not leaving you with bulky pockets and you can't forget about the belt chains and bandanas. But even then, accessories that are more common still aren't being worn. Scarves, caps, and beanies change your entire look for a cheap price. So don't skip out on accessories, guys. The third way to having great style is just putting in more effort than your average person. Just a pro tip here. If you're competing for a job with a limited number of positions, to get that job, you're gonna need to put in a little more effort. Do some research on that company. Learn how to crush an interview. Read some books on how to be more likable because that little effort goes a long way. And if you play your cards right, you're gonna get the job. It's the same thing with your style. Honestly, 
Don't just watch men's fashion YouTube or follow Outfit Society. I've personally gotten a ton of inspiration for following other girls online and the way they compose their outfits because in reality, they do understand fashion more than your average guy. Or you can do what I've been doing recently and just reading a ton of articles on the history of certain aesthetics, how they came about, and of course other things like learning color blocking and color theory. These little bits of effort lead to massive outcome because fashion is an art. You can learn from anyone, get inspiration from anyone, and then you can make it your own and that is how you develop a unique personal style. My light just went out. Number four is being open-minded about fashion. So this kind of ties in with the last point about putting in more effort, but this takes no effort. You guys know I talk about this a lot. Most guys just subscribe to one style and disregard everything else. However, there are a ton of aesthetics out there, just like there's a ton of ways to game out there. Like, come on, what are you gonna do? Just stick to a Switch, play Smash, and spike people all day? To me, and this is just my opinion, like with all hobbies out there, the coolest and most chill people out there are the ones that have a true appreciation for all aspects of said passion. Some of my closest friends have an appreciation for all types of cars, whether it be Japanese import tuners, muscle cars, European cars. So why only eat one type of cuisine for the rest of your life? Or only lift weights and ignore calisthenics? Or why would you just stick to iOS instead of Android? This one is true though, iOS over Android any day, but I've had experiences in both and I have a true appreciation for both. And that is what matters. So the same goes with fashion, obviously. Why would you just stick to only fast fashion? fashion stores like H&M and Zara. There's nothing wrong with those stores. I personally like those stores because of the cheap price. But when you branch out, maybe you pick up some YouTuber merch or you pick up something at your local gift shop or a local event like I did. I recently picked up this Native American design poncho from the Balloon Fiesta event in my town. I took it out for a shoot. I felt super uncomfortable wearing it. But then eventually, you know, I got comfortable with it. And then I grew to appreciate the garment for what it is. You can also try online brands from your favorite influencers. I like to go on other guys' profiles and see what brands they follow just to expand the options. And then eventually you grow an appreciation for fashion. And then at that point, you just understand fashion a lot more. I can appreciate any aesthetic out there. In fact, I've been trying a ton more styles, you know, diving back more into menswear tech wear. I personally believe great style comes with being comfortable with any aesthetic that you try on and having a ton of those under your belt, just like having a ton of tools under your belt for different situations. So another way to have great style is to understand sizing and proportions. We all have a unique body. Some are tall, some are short, some are skinny, some are muscular, some are stockier. And this is when you really need to be comfortable with your own skin and understand what's going to fit on you and what's gonna look really weird on you. So the biggest one I see and a lot of people kind of neglect because they mainly talk about sizing and proportions of your shirts and pants, and that is sneakers. Some sneakers just aren't meant to be on certain people. Like high cut sneakers, they really aren't for shorter guys like myself. But not only that, bulky, thick sneakers like the Air Force Ones, they really suit stockier guys. But for me, yes, I can still wear it. However, you have to balance out the chunkiness of the sneaker. That is why I have to wear it with baggier pants. Otherwise, it wouldn't fit my frame and the silhouette of my skinny calves to the Air Force One just looks a little off to me. Now, sizing is beyond the point of this video. I probably have to make a dedicated video for that. But check this out. Remember in 2015 and 2016 when scoop and long line tees were the thing? Yeah, if you're short, you're probably gonna wanna stray away from these because at that point, you're gonna look like you're wearing a dress and it just looks so off if you're a shorter person. Now, if you're a taller dude like my boy, Kurt Ritchie over here, you know, he's tall, light skin, handsome. It suits his proportions because he's a taller, lengthier guy. And like I said, I'll make a video on it later, but I think you guys get the point. The next way to having great style is understanding colors. I talked about this earlier. This is the part where you need to put effort in. I made an entire video about this already. Just go and check the link in the description if you guys wanna watch that video. But in short, the most simple way and my favorite way to color block is the monochromatic look. So all you really gotta do is focus on one color, play with the shades. It's honestly super easy and I just really stick to the white, black, and gray shades. And then when you actually learn more about color blocking, you know, complementary colors, then you can also apply that to your accessories, whether that be your beanies or using a sling bag with a hint of color. You know, this is olive. So a complementary color to olive green would be red. But yeah, guys, go and check the link in the description if you guys want to watch that video. Now, last but not least, the last way to having great style is understanding that's going to take some time. Basically, we all start out getting into fashion pretty much only for the ladies. And then eventually it becomes to impressing your friends, other guys, and then it just manifests in all types of directions. And then eventually it leads back to wearing whatever you like and dressing for yourself. This is necessary. And this is part of advancing your style. Come on, we all have a cringe fashion phase. For me, it was only wearing a ton of fitted clothes, nothing else that applied to menswear, that applied to casual wear, that applied to streetwear, 
and streetwear with fitted clothes, not a good mix. But I'm glad I went through that. We all go through phases in life because of adulting, trying out new hobbies, exploring the world, etc. makes you a more mature human being. And that's the same thing with fashion. Going through all these phases in life, highs and lows, different experiences, just like going through a ton of phases in fashion is what you call maturing your fashion and style, refining your style, and that is what I believe is the secret to having great style. Obviously, there's going to be more tips. I didn't want to make this video super long, but I hope you guys did find this video helpful. If you guys did, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. And follow me on Instagram at FlyWithJohnnyTy if you haven't already. Subscribe for the YouTube algorithm as well. Thank you, Jade Black, for sponsoring this video and keeping the lights on. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. I'm out, bro. Peace. Ooh.